Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Greetings, all. All right, so we're getting towards the end of the seven-year anniversary of the Everything Show. Uh, we had one earlier today with Connor, doing one with Scott. Uh, we just got horrible news that the movie theaters are not reopening when they said they were going to. Boy, there's a shot. Uh, Here I'm looking for my feather to be knocked over by. Yeah, it looks bad. Um, I guess, here we go. This is coming from AMC, Regal, Cinemark, all of them, really. They were planning on, uh, the last date was July 30th. That's not happening. Uh, they were going to do July 31st. That's not happening. Um, and this is because of the rising level, I guess, of COVID. And if they were going to open, some states were going to make it where they weren't going to open. Let's say like New York. Um, and then in Los Angeles is, is rising. And so right now they're all done. Um, I know. I know I looked at my synergy. One back, yeah. one over here. I don't know if it's because due to the time that I looked at it or what, but a lot of them were more like uh, evening shows or around. See, that what I don't understand is New York is the is the lowest now. Yeah. But they they won't. I guess they're afraid for the numbers to go up. I posted something in uh, Facebook. You probably saw it. I basically said that until both sides, and I'm talking about both political parties, when both sides get what they want, this mysterious virus will disappear or not be as much of a threat. That's what I've come to believe. I mean, I don't believe that because I, I lost a cousin to COVID. So Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, you know, I, I, uh, I know it's real. No, I'm um, not saying it's not real. Don't get me wrong. Right. I'm not saying it's not real. It's just that. I, I just feel that they're. I am not. I feel that when they made the announcement that for companies to close, yeah, they said don't worry about anything. But people are going out of business, and they're not helping them. Mm -hmm. And They're this not. is what's pissing me off because you can't tell somebody to put their life on hold and you're going to make sure everything's fine. And, and it's not No, like it's there was not. a lot of empty promises. And, and I feel that like they are directly responsible for them going out of business. They should yeah, have yeah. helped. They should have created a bill. They should have done something oh, they to make sure have. that no business was going out of business. Because of COVID, exactly. and that's the one, the one time, thing the I one feel. Time they should have. The one thing I feel, you could see scripts, you could see video of them saying that they were going to help businesses so they don't go out of business, and they didn't do anything. Yeah. So, uh, yes, we have to follow guidelines, but it seems like they're more interested in destroying businesses and helping businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, taking away, I understand they want to punish them, like restaurants. For, for gathering too much and everything, but they're going way too far with stuff like they're they destroying are. businesses and you're destroying the economy and you're not getting it. Yes, we have to obey, but you have to have something in place. Yeah. And when this is over, they could reopen without any hardship whatsoever. And you're not doing that. No, you're not. And that's not right. Then you shouldn't have a fucking, if, if you, here's the thing, sad part, right? If they can't guarantee a business's survival, then they shouldn't have any fucking say in having it closed. Exactly. And there should be every legal mandate battling lawyers with the city, suing the shit out of the city of New York, I'm saying, because they fucking made a lot of promises and nothing fucking happened. And the thing that sucks is that when everything is done, there's not going to be any businesses left. No. Or gonna, and it, the whole f structure is going to be fucking wiped clean. And you're going to have all these new businesses come out of the woodwork. Yeah. And I feel bad that, you know, it's because of COVID-19 that these people lost their livelihood. E either you die from the virus or you die fucking, like, you, you go broke. Yeah. And this is fucked. And, and, and the mindset of everybody's fucked. Everybody is, is trying to do loopholes 
to this fucking thing that's making me exactly. sick. Exactly. Outside is literally inside. Like you have fucking everybody and their mother grouped together as if you were indoors. So it doesn't even make any sense to have it. What they should do is they should fucking make it where if you want to fucking do it, you go indoors and stop outdoor shit because what's happening is they're fucking, I've never seen this in my life that all the restaurants is tables in the fucking on the sidewalk and nobody's wearing masks, but then you got to fucking wear a mask because you've got to walk past them. It's bullshit. Total bullshit. So make up your fucking mind. Like make up seriously your uh-huh. fucking mind that I got to wear a mask. But people got to sit in a chair and they're going to eat next to me. Like, this somebody, is ridiculous. Like I said, uh, somebody this is fucked. Comment about that. Somebody's fucked up somewhere. I mean, and if somebody they don't Somebody comment see... about that online on one of the YouTube stations that I watch. Because so it's kind of funny it's so how fucking stupid. Between, between the hostess and your table, the COVID knows to hit you there. But right to right. you Right. Like, down. you have literally oh. fucking hundreds of people outside on the fucking sidewalks eating. And you can't go inside. Which is, they put tents in there, making like it's inside. They build like almost like a house around the outside to make it like it's inside. How fucking stupid is that? The government just doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Honestly. You know what? If people, listen, here's the thing, right? At some point in time, you got to let people wipe their ass, right? If people want to get fucking sick with the virus, then you know what? Let them. Because look what they're doing now. They're breaking, they're going to beaches, they're breaking every rule there is, and fucking stop it with this shit then. Because I think it's, it's Florida. It's I think asinine. Florida has got fines and you can be sent to jail. It's stupid. For it. It's, yeah. Everybody's outside is stupid. I'm sick and tired. The heat is so much, and I'm wearing the mask, and I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of going to work, having to wear the mask fucking 12 hours a day. People just coming and going as they please without the fucking mask. And then they're going to get you sick, even if you have the fucking mask. Well, I can't remember if it's Sweden or Belgium. It's one of those two. Did a did a study and found out uh, all these people who want to be indoors, you're more likely to catch it while being indoors than you are outside. You're still going to get it outside. Yeah. Because you can cuddle together like you're indoors. But they found at the same time the masks. And the, the quarantine thing, Whatever, it doesn't work. But I'm yet, just, the, I, can't I, mean, see I shouldn't people. say the mask 100%. But I found the social distancing does more. And the whole staying indoors crap is useless. It's tits on a bullet off it. I, in quarantine yourself, you get, you get it anyway. Yeah. It's dark. It's, it, this whole thing is fucking the stupid and, and, and since and you got heat outside, and I think it's the same. I can't remember. Because the, the thing is, you would be you would be obeying the rule. That. That's the problem is you would be obeying the rule, and I would be obeying the rule. But we would still get sick because people are fucking stupid, and that's the problem. It's like no matter what you fucking do, no matter what you fucking do, and the they're all is, trying to break the rule. It's got a ninety nine point nine eight ninety nine point nine, what that ninety nine point nine eight nine nine survival rate. That's the survival rate of it. So children, are le- children are more likely to die from the flu than this ailment. Uh, you know what? I don't know. All I know is that I don't even want to fucking go out anymore. And this is bad because I'm like finding myself not to go out. And that's bad because you can't do what you got to do. I just want to work and then come home. And it's like sad. It's a miserable fucking existence. You can't even in- interact with people anymore. Because yeah, you don't you know. notice, because this is what happened, uh, was it today or yesterday? I forget now. But no, there was, uh, there was uh, might have been yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. I was, uh, I was heading towards the mall to grab something, grab uh, something from the food court. And there was a, a um, ambulance and uh, fire engine near the, uh, near our Walmart. And I paused and I, made a crack about, oh, what happened? Is their low prices that bad? And I could tell by the expression on the guy's face, like, I, I don't want to talk to you. You, you need to shove off because you're not wearing a mask. I could oh, see you him. don't have a mask? No, I'm not wearing a mask outside of the work. Oh, okay. When, I, when, I, when I'm, since 
work has got it mandatory where you've got to wear a mask. Right. Well, but, no. But, what I'm asking is, in the mall, you don't wear a mask. No. No. Oh. Wow. No. Wow. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tulsa's got one of these mandatory mask uh, rules by oh, our okay. lovely mayor. Uh, but uh, I'm basically believing that. I wear that. a mask everywhere. It's terrible. I mean, but I, no, I'm not. You don't have I'm, to wear it. You don't wear it. But I, I wear it. Um, I'm going to. When I went up to uh, one of the, not Walmart, but when I went up to one of the, when I went up to, uh, to Winco in order to get get my uh, nuts and all that, mm -hmm. it was perfectly fun. Nobody said a damn word to me the last time I was there. But this time, but this last time, the time before that, I mean. But when I went up this last time to grab the nuts and that, the cashier goes, because uh, she had stopped at two things, and I'm thinking, okay, what's wrong? Where's your mask? She says, I don't have one. I left it. Uh, I, I, I didn't bring one. So right. one of the people, and of course she calls out the, the magical mask fairy uh, over the intercom. Somebody brings us, well, the next time you come in here, you're going to have to have your mask. And I'm thinking, bullshit. Wow. Because I'm sorry. Uh, granted, masks may help, but it shouldn't be a mandatory thing. It should be an optional thing. Right. And if you're going to make it as a, as a mandatory thing, then an issue of protection becomes more of control. It's not like a seatbelt. It's, yeah. it's not like a seatbelt where you automatically know if you don't wear it, you go flying somewhere. Right, and so you feel you're going to get it anyway with the mask, so it doesn't matter. It, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. There. I mean, I, I really, I, I can't stand. I wear it because I have to at work all day long. When I'm in going to a store, I wear it. But when I'm out, like in, in out in the, like walking, nobody around, mm -hmm. then I don't wear it because you don't have to wear it like outside. There's weird rules. Like our rules, your rules are different. Yeah. Yeah. But uh I'm just I'm so done with this whole situation. It's just I it's like I'm I lost every time, every I, time I got I'm, so negative, like people are just so negative and so It is. I it's mean just, it's, it's making everybody mistake. depressed because yeah, they want to go do shit and they can't because they're being told this told they're being told contradictory things from everybody around them. You can do it here. Yeah, nobody can, knows about yeah. anything. I know. No, they, they make it like they they shit. They talk about vaccines. They don't even know how to work, so how you can have a vaccine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, this COVID thing is just, I, I, it sucks that it's continuing into the next year it's going to be. Um, so we'll see. Uh, other than that, yeah, we know all the movies are getting delayed. I'm glad you're doing okay. Uh, you know, it's just crazy what's yeah. going on in the world. Um, and then you wonder why we don't do podcasts sometimes. It's just very frustrating, you know? Um, well, it's been seven years that we've done this. Uh, and now we have 2,218 podcasts. Yeah. Uh, and we're still going. I mean, it's not, we're not going like every day, 10 casts, but I mean, yeah. we're, we're doing it when we can. Um, I know people wanted us to do the Rehubians today and I did not want to because yeah. today is all about the everything show. Uh, but me, you, you know, probably a political thing this time around. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so probably we'll do the real movies tomorrow, but, uh, I'll do it before I go to work. So I'll let you go back to your video game. Okay. And I'm going to go do my thing and we'll probably not have any other casts tonight. Uh, I, like I said, I've got my phone up by me. So okay. if you do, if, it, if you do decide, I'll go. Boom. Yeah. But I want to thank everybody over the years that have appeared on the everything show. Uh, seven years, still alive. two thousand two hundred eighteen. Yeah, we're still alive and kicking. So, thank you guys. Here's another seven more. Take care. Bye for now.